Hi children welcome you all for the today's english class in the last class we saw uh, the grammar part articles and today in this session we are going to see the grammar part nouns children to demonstrate you about what is nouns and kinds of nouns let's see a video related to the nouns we shall talk about the noun and its kinds the noun a noun is the name of a person place animal or a thing for example ashok went to the market reena is a clever girl here the words ashok reena market girl are all nouns now we shall discuss about the kinds of nouns there are five different kinds of nouns proper nouns common nouns collective nouns material nouns and abstract nouns common nouns a common noun is a name which is common to any and every person or thing of the same kind for example the boy lives in a village the girl went to her friend here the names boy village girl friend are all common nouns as they refer to the names in common proper nouns a proper noun is the name of some particular person or place proper nouns are always written in capital letter now let us look at some examples of proper nouns shobha lives in mumbai ram was the son of dashrath here the names shobha mumbai ram and dashrath refer to a particular person therefore they are proper nouns and are written in capital letters collective nouns a collective noun is the name of a collection of persons or things spoken as a whole for example crowd army class etc now look at these sentences the jury found the prisoner guilty here the word jury is a collective noun in the second sentence the committee had a meeting on monday we say the committee consists of 12 members here the collective noun committee denotes one individual whole and hence the verb is singular but if we say the committee are quarreling among themselves here the noun of multitude denotes the individuals of the group and hence the verb is plural although the noun is singular material nouns a noun of material denotes the matter or substance of which things are made of as gold silver iron glass stone and cotton for example ornaments are made of gold and silver clothes are made of cotton here the words gold and silver and cotton are all material nouns abstract noun an abstract noun is usually the name of a quality action or state considered apart from the things to which it belongs for example qualities like kindness wisdom honesty cleverness state like childhood youth death sickness or poverty action like laughter theft flight etc the names of arts and sciences example grammar music biology etc are also abstract noun abstract noun is the name of something that we can only think of for example hope doubt and misery etc countable nouns and uncountable nouns countable nouns are the names of objects people etc that we can count for example books pens cars horses etc uncountable nouns are the names of things which we cannot count for example milk water ink honesty gold etc here we have to note that countable nouns have plural forms like book books leaf leaves while uncountable nouns do not have plural forms like milk cannot be said as milk children now you might have clear about the nouns 
and its kinds let's watch the line teaching by your teacher about nouns and its kinds now Place, animal, or thing, 
upside down shows the quality relationship feelings what are the feelings we can show day to day life we are showing some feelings to one another see for example anger joy sorrow sadness these are all the feelings that we can express and we can we, we show to someone so i next one ideas so what are the ideas bravery wisdom freedom these are the ideas there are so many abstract terms are there related to this quality relationship ideas and feelings children let's see about the state and action how can i tell you about the qualities the quality of a person that is honest he is a kind person he is a lovable person he is a honest person truthful person these are all the quality of a person coming to the state what is meant by state the person who are in the levels the person Some is a word that we can use both in countable and uncountable 
nouns. So some, some children, a lot of pens. So some and a lot of, a lot of. These two words can be used both in the countable form as well as in the uncountable nouns also. Children, so far we have seen nouns and its types and briefly about the abstract nouns, countable and uncountable nouns. So as, as we are seeing nouns, we are going to see and we are going to learn about the nouns and how to change the nouns from singular form to the plural form. See here, change of nouns from singular to plural. So do you, you know already about how to change the noun from singular to plural? So it is very easy. See here, boy should change into boys. So now we are going to see with the example how to change the singular form of a sentence into plural form and plural form into singular form. See the example first. The sentence is a singular form of sentence. See here, baby walks on the platform. So look at the sentence children. Listen clearly, carefully. Baby walks on the platform. See the noun here. What noun? It is singular noun. It is a singular noun because it is baby, not babies. So it is singular noun. Then the verb. See here verb. This is a singular verb. It is not a plural verb. Even though if we add yes, it is not a plural verb. It is a singular verb only. For example, see here for there is a rule for this. If a singular noun is there, we have to use verb with yes or yes. This is a rule children. Keep it in your mind. Don't forget it. When you change the noun from singular form to plural form, we have to see to the, we, have, we must see first to the noun, whether it is singular or plural. If it is singular, we have to use the singular verb only. Singular verb, it is, what is singular verb? Singular verb is adding with yes or yes. That is the singular verb. So see the example here, you can understand clearly. So baby is a singular noun. And walks is a singular verb on the platform as we show its object, no problem. See here how to change into plural form. See here and change and I've changed the sentence here. Babies. So baby should be changed into plural noun. So it is a it, is, it should change into babies. Why I am using why I have added IES because I have ended the noun with a Y. So in singular, if it, the noun ends with Y, it, in plural form, it should be changed as IES. So, babies. I have changed as babies. Now, it changed into plural noun. So, now we have changed into plural noun. Babies. Now, this is the plural verb. We have to, when we change from singular to plural, the verb must be the same as it is the verb. So, if the noun is in the plural form, verb will be the same as it is the same verb we have to use. So on the platform. See here, if it is plural uh, noun, the verb will be, there is no change, there was no change, the verb will be as it is the verb. Then we should not add yes or yes. Only when the noun is a singular noun, we have to add yes or yes. If it is a plural noun, there is no adding of yes or yes. Then that is also known as plural verb only. There is no change. So singular noun, we have to change into singular verb. Plural nouns, for that is in the plural form, we have to change in the plural verbs. So, at last on the platform. This is the same way when we convert from plural to singular, the same thing we have to do, we have to see to the noun first. If it is singular, use singular verb. Singular verb means you have to add verb with yes or yes. Be clear children. Okay, don't confuse. Singular noun means verb with yes or yes. Plural noun means there is no change. Use the verb as it is with the in the sentence. Thank you, children. Children, I think now you might have clear about the nouns and its kinds. Let's see some more examples for abstract noun, countable and uncountable noun, and changeover of nouns from singular form to the plural form. Let's see first the abstract noun. As I told you before, abstract noun is usually named a quality, action and state of a person. Look at the example for quality. There are kindness, darkness, honesty, noble, truthful. These are the quality of a person to be mentioned. And coming to the action, see here examples are laughter, theft, 
talkative, playful, funny, etc. The last one is the state of a person. Examples are sleep, sickness, blessing, sorrow, luck, etc. As I told you before children, an abstract noun that can be think and feel. The abstract noun is a quality or a state or action that these things can be think and feel but it cannot be seen and it cannot be touched. Now let's move to the countable and uncountable nouns. As I said before, countable nouns are the things that you can count. Look at the picture children. Carrots, tree, houses, cycle, pencils, banana, hat, these apples, dog, potatoes, car. These are the things that we can count in numbers. So, they are called as countable nouns. To the uncountable nouns, things that we cannot count, they are all called as uncountable nouns. Look at the pictures children, things that was given here, cheese, rain, butter, meat, milk, coffee, uh, keypad, these are all uncountable nouns. And countable nouns can be changed into plural form. But in the case of uncountable nouns, no, never. It cannot be changed in the plural form. Look at the picture given here, children. A example that was given in the uncountable side. Wine. First one is wine. It's a liquid state and it cannot be changed into the plural form then eyes it is a solid state that cannot be changed into the plural form then knowledge knowledge cannot be changed into the plural form look at the countable noun side orange we can change into plural form as as oranges but hamburgers hamburger is a singular hamburgers plural elephant elephants so countable nouns that we can count that are all she can be changed into plural form now let's move the changeover of nouns from singular to plural form the slide children a verb must agree with its subject in number and person and a singular subject takes a singular verb and a plural subject takes a plural verb so, children, be clear in this. If it is a subject, it is, is in a singular form, then the verb must be in a singular form. If a subject in a plural form, then definitely the verb must be in the plural form. To make you understand clearly, look at the example here. Look at the first sentence here. See the picture given there. There is a single dog. Only one dog. So, it is a singular subject. So, See the sentence there, the dog, single, singular subject, dog, barks, that is a singular verb. So, when the subject is in singular, then the verb must be in the singular verb. So, the sentence is, the dog barks, singular subject and singular verb. Look at the opposite side, there you have example for plural noun. See, see the picture. There are two dogs. So, the sentence here is the dogs. Dogs in the plural subject. That is the plural subject. Bark verb. That is also plural verb. Bark is a plural verb. So, don't get confused children. Be clear. When the subject is singular, verb must be in the singular form. When the subject in the plural form, definitely the verb must be in the plural form. Children, for your doubt, here there is a clarification. Verbs do not form their plural form by adding an S yes as noun do. Look at the next slide, then you will be clear. To determine which verb is singular and which verb is plural, see this picture, children. Then, in this given verbs down there, which verb you would use with the pronouns he, she, it and which verb that you would use with they look at the picture and listen carefully children he speaks he singular subject 
speaks singular verb they speak they is a plural subject speak is the plural verb so she is was she is a singular subject and is and was are the singular verbs then they are where here they is a plural subject so or and where are the plural verbs coming to it it has it singular subject so has is also a singular verb opposite to that it is a singular form and for it they must be the plural form so a is a plural subject and plural verb have children are you clear how to use singular subject with the singular verb and for plural subject you have to use plural verbs only one exceptional here with the verb am the verb am is only used with the pronoun i now let's see the plural forms of the nouns look at the picture here children so plurals from singular noun to the plural noun look at the first one adding yes see the nouns are dream dreams flower flowers shoe shoes simply we are adding yes look at the next block adding es why we are adding es here because the when a noun ends with the sound ich ish is then we have to add es along with the nouns look at the examples given here in this picture for es lunch pronounce the word children lunch so the noun ends with the sound ich lunch so in the plural form we are adding es look at the next word flash pronounce the word children flash so the sound ends the word ends with the sound ish so in the plural form we have to add es flashes so the first one is lunches and the second one is flashes see the third word mess the noun ends with the sound is mess so we are in the plural form we have to use and we have to add es so messes messes let's move to the third block drop the y add ies so see the first word children baby so the title itself drop y and add ies so here in the noun baby the last letter ends the noun ends with the letter y so in the plural form we have to remove y and we have to add ies with the noun so the plural form of baby is babies like the same thing in the next noun also family family ends with the last letter y so it should be changed in the plural form with ies families and look at the third word story the story noun ends with the last word last letter y so in the plural form it is stories with ies let's move to the fourth block see the title here drop f and add ves so in this nouns we have to remove f and we have to add ves with the first word wolf w o l f so the word the noun ends with the letter f so in the plural form we have to remove f and we have to change into v e s so wolves look at the second word shelf ends with the letter f so in the plural form it is shelves and the next one third one wife in the plural form then at last let's see some irregular nouns also look at the first noun here children child is a singular noun change over of plural noun is children and one women women the third one mouse mice deer deer tooth teeth moose moose children 
these are the rules to change the nouns from singular noun to the plural noun then that's all from this session nouns and its kinds children now let's see the worksheet for you children and the first worksheet that is your articles for articles first chapter this is your second worksheet for the second chapter nouns let's see the first exercise specify the nouns given below and write them in the respective columns here you have nouns given in the box like computer milk book love man skill silk girl picture child pen chair oil needle cup sorrow so you have to segregate the nouns that are that are all countable and uncountable that was given in the boxes children look at the second roman here read see the title here change the sentences into plural form make the necessary changes and write the sentences so look at the first one here dog is a faithful animal so which is the noun here dog so change the noun into plural form and you have to change the verb also so see here plural verb what is the plural verb a dog is a faithful animal is the question so when you change into plural form do uh, the dogs the dogs or the faithful animals the dogs or the faithful animals so like this you have to change the sentences and the nouns into plural nouns and do the necessary changes and write the answers chill and look at the third roman here the same thing here what you have to do here is you have to change the sentence into singular form so in the previous exercise you have to change the sentence into plural form but in the third exercise you have to change the noun into singular singular form and make the necessary changes and write it look at the first one novels are long stories so when you change into singular the noun no novels is in the plural form it should be changed into singular so novel or should be changed as singular form is so novel is a long story stories should be changed into singular so it is story so the answer is novel is a long story children look at the fourth roman fill in the blanks with the appropriate uncountable nouns see the first question there are people who think that it is their duty to give dash to the poor what will be the uncountable noun children is there any guess yes it is arms and the next one the fifth roman children strike off the incorrect word and rewrite the sentences so you have to find out the correct word given in the brackets two words they have given one is correct and one is wrong another one is wrong so you have to find out the correct spelling of vocabulary that is suitable for this sentence so see the first one please convey my dash that is the congratulation or congr congratulations to her on her achievement so what will be the answer children please convey my congratulations your my represents singular pronoun so it is singular then the verb must be in singular so please convey my congratulations to her on her achievements children look at the sixth roman write against each word whether it stands for quality action or state so see the first one goodness what is mean by goodness it's a quality of a person good character good person so it is a quality of a person so you have to write quality for the first one so like that remaining exercise should be done by you so 
in all the romans the first one i am in all the romans first one i have done for you remaining things should be written on yourself so do the six romans write the answers for these six romans and send it in the group children that's all from this session children i'll catch you with the another video soon until then thank you and bye